Here we are spectating Lask and Grown. Now, look, I was a little delayed in the gulag, but he did shit down my biscuit straight up fair and square. So I'm excited to see his gameplay. Definitely not a bot. Um, he just straight up outplayed me. All right, here we are getting our load out. Throws it towards the building. That way has hard cover. And, and we did hear two footsteps when we first started spectating him as well. So we know there are several enemies here. The enemy's pretty aggressive. Great job on the enemy wrapping the right hand side to get a different angle and then pushing up good stick and that's all she wrote man wow i'll be honest i am shocked that alaskan jumped out the window like that as aggressive as that player was i want to read the enemy i don't want to just jump out the window leave my hard cover to push anyone that that's that aggressive bro but here we are moving on to ttv mr pana smiley face it's clearly a lot more savage than the last guy and we might have a nice lobby on our hands. Again, first player shit on me fair and square. Didn't seem like a bad player. Mr. Pana, not as well, dude. All right, getting the high ground, going for the bounty. So look, he's using UAVs to hunt down enemies. He's using bounties to hunt down enemy enemies. And again, he's just going towards action, AKA Alaska when he threw out the buy. He just followed the buy and went, or threw out the load. He followed the load, he went right to it. So he's doing three different things to find enemies when most players sit here and tell me they can't find enemies. I'm sorry. I love when you guys come to me and be like, I can't find it. How do I do it? These are three of the greatest options to do. We hear sniping going off to the left-hand side as well. So there are other enemies here near us. And of course, these guys are shooting each other. Is a sniper in the tower? I don't know if this is that sniper. It sounded like it was coming more from the left-hand side. We're about to find out. And again, just going back to looting. We don't have to loot. So I don't see, I don't see him looting that much. We have a portable buy on the building over here. All he's got to do is just get to this rooftop and then jump to the next one. I wouldn't even go up the staircase of that building because we don't know who's there. Again, the building next to us, climb up the ladder on the backhand side and just dolphin jump over to this one and grab that rooftop. It's going to be your best way. He definitely sees someone over there. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. It does happen. Yeah, there's a, there's a vehicle. Now, normally these buys are camped. I'm surprised he didn't check the right-hand side. Whenever there's a party on the roof, normally these players are gonna fucking, they're gonna sit still. All right, getting a muni, getting a UAV. So how are you guys enjoying the update? By the time this video comes out, it's gonna be two, three days later. I honestly feel like this update was kind of more just like small patches than an actual season reloaded update. I mean, they released three skins and that, and a new, D, like a new uh, a DMC map in multiplayer, but that's it, that's, that's, that's it. It just felt like such a letdown. Nothing really changed. The flow didn't really change at all. They did some weapon tuning, but again, that doesn't really have to be part of a massive update. They could have just made that into small patches. Yeah, you know, so again, judging players by their skill, you know they're a bad play. Oh, there's another player here, another player here. There's another one too. Holy fuck, there's three people here. Oh, I don't like this gun. What the fuck is happening? Don't let himself. Is my headset on backwards? Mr. Pana's better than that. So let's just read that situation real quick, man. He knocked the guy up top. Not much you can do with that. But the moment he down the second guy, I should have just went ahead and execute him with his AR. I hope this burst fire SMG shoots faster than that. If it just goes, that's gonna be real shit. All right, landing in, trying to get our loot and absolutely slaying that guy down. That's not the Black Noir skin that we saw him down earlier. So he's gotta be very cautious on how he loots. To be fair, I'd probably call him the UAV. Granted, Black Noir was running away, but he might get a little antsy and make his way back towards us. I'd love to spectate Mr. Pana because I do believe he's a good player. That was just an unfortunate mishap. But earlier, instead of buying two UAVs, which is what I would have done, he bought a munitions and a UAV. To point out why I didn't say anything about that is just because he's not running restock, I don't think. Because he only had that one smoke the entire time he was traversing over here. So it, of course, never restock. And that's why he bought the muni. If you guys aren't rocking restock, munis are always a good thing to have, especially if you have smokes in your inventory. Having smokes is awesome, but if you only have two, it ain't gonna help you out too, too much. All right, UAV bought, now we're moving on. We are in the stronghold. Now look, a lot of people will avoid stronghold UAVs and black site UAVs, but you have to remember, most teams leave. Even if they don't, don't be afraid of them. Your goal in this game is to kill and survive, not to run away and hide and loot. 
So many times we witnessed it. All right, these two guys are fighting right now. We could take the zip. This is ballsy. I would. I don't know. I wouldn't take the zip. I'd go on the opposite side to be fair. Although he may be caught up in looting, it really just depends on what kind of player we're running into. If he's a shitter or not, and he's not a shitter. And unfortunately, Mr. Pana goes down. And this is exactly why I said I take the other zip. He's right on it. He's going to hear it. And honestly, he could have been the one with that black site Yui. Moving on to Bobby Shafto. He's not, he is not him. I'll be honest. He's not him. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Who the fuck is this? He must have jumped over here from the other building, I guess. Yeah, maybe. No, he didn't jump over here. Wouldn't have had enough time to lay all that shit down. This is a random fucking player. Most of the time when we spectate, it's the guy who killed the last guy. Sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes it's just some random fuck boy laying prone on a roof. Think about finger banging Becky. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Although I gotta, I gotta get some respect to him. He's he's chasing down this kill right now. Yes. All right, moving on. I think this is the guy because this is the dude that was jumping from that rooftop. Although place just fell, he might have fucking died too from that precision. Let's see. All right, so this is the player that was again. We saw him when Bobby was walking. We saw, or when Bobby was jumping off that roof, we saw this guy leaving the skyscraper. So this is the originally the guy I wanted to spectate, and he does have 12 kills. And he's also rocking the burst M16. Bro, are burst M16s fucking back? Dude's got 13 kills with it. Are we witnessing a meta in creation during a spectate? I was just saying, I wish they'd show more love to the burst guns, and here we are. They might. Let's see, that guy might not have been plated. I don't know. I don't know. Enemy to our left-hand side. Oh my God, no! Oh, thank God he's a shitter. We do have an angle on him. We don't really have to break away like this. He can't see us. Oh. Surprisingly, there's only 18 enemies left right now. This is a fast dying lobby. Look at all that money. And he's like, I don't know if I want it. Pick up the UA. Pick up the advance. Pick up the advance. Dude, does he think it's a stealth bomber? I Durable, buy station, advance, cluster. You got so much shit. <laughs> he left it. That's the second time today. First time I ever spectated someone doing that was when we were spectating Vondel BR, yesterday's video. And today we witnessed it again, the second time ever, ever. Warzone 1, never saw it. Warzone 2, never saw it. Today, back to back, bro. Holy shit. Oh my God, come on, brother. Gotta be better than that. He's just gonna get all of his kills, precision. Bless his heart. Bless his soul. Bless his soul. There's an enemy close to us. You better not be fighting the guy at the building next to you. Oh, is there? Yep, it is a tracker. He's hiding from the tracker. Man, if he had a durable gas mask, he'd be in a lot better position right now. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Bots kind of low key produce intense gameplay because they do dumbass shit they should die in. You you were one tap, brother. You didn't have any plates on you at all? None? Not one? Oh, shit. Clan's feeling himself now. He's like, I got two, bitch. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. Dude, I kind of want clan to win. Now, look, if your aim's similar to clans, turn down your sensitivity. Turn it down. Also, when you're playing on the sticks, don't sit here and do this. You want to kind of baby it, feather it. You know what I mean? No, not tracks, no! There have been at least 400 streaks that have been called in this game, especially at the end. It's 
So the glint to your left, homie. Come on, brother. 1v3 right now. I wouldn't rotate just yet because we don't know which way the circle's going. If the circle happens to go the other way, dude, I was going this way anyway, so it worked out, but if it happens to go the other way, man, he could have just stayed put. Now, look, I love the fact we shoot at him, but you want to shoot at him as, to suppress him so then you can push. Then when you push, you stun that window and you start start your process of rotating to the next zone. You do not want to sit here and fight the whole lobby like we are. Otherwise, you end up dead. Again, when he shot the first time, that was great. Push when he breaks off, throw the stun in the window, continue to push. You could kill him. I would go up there and kill him, but you don't have to. Just play that wall around the building and then wait for him to jump out the window and get that easy kill. And again, you're closer to the zone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, eight kills in a bush. It's a 1v1, he knows where he's at, he hears him. I switched, oh, oh, oh. He died to gas. All right, instantly watching Nicki Minaj beating off Esteban DP because he loves the DP'd. Daddy. And then hide behind a door to play it up. Look at this. Look at the skill on Nikki. Look at her. See in her eyes? She's not fucking around. Cam SMH. It's weird. I'm doing the same fucking thing right now. Watch this dumbass shit. It works. I will be honest. Cam might actually not be that bad. Cam's real snappy with it. I say snappy with it. it just aim straight. Don't teabag too much, brother. I'm wanting to see what you have, Cam. Are you worth the teabag or no? It's weird, dude. They gave the wrong savage my skin. Crazy. All right, going to the rooftop. Lots of enemies up here. Good, good awareness. Good job. See if they go ahead and push. We need. We should have popped our plate, but it is what it is. And I don't know what the fuck that dude was thinking. If you could jump out the opposite window, maybe it would have been worth the vault. But th that window's locked up too, brother. Again, just no plates. I said they might be with it, but. Moving on to your boy deck, maybe. Sound like he just got, nope, nope, he's alive. Played up as you run. What are we staring at right now? Why are we not looking down? Why are we not looking up? Why are we just sitting there staring at the corner? Guys, you gotta maintain mobility and look around corners, but you never know who's the C4, really? Do you think you can actually stop what you're doing and hit the igniter before the TTK kills you in this game? C4 are literally useless. It's the most useless thing they've ever done in Call of Duty in this one, C4. Maybe not for search, but like this shit here, dude. By the time you go, unk, you're dead. See that time it took? He would already been dead. Not gonna play it up again. Literally, you killed the last person from the same mistake you're doing now. And I know you probably don't know that she didn't he didn't have plates. They didn't have plates. Nikki didn't have plates. I don't know what to say anymore. But that's just common sense, bro. What's crazy is the people that don't pop their plates when they need to are the same ones that run around and loot the whole time. Yo! Oh! I thought we were about to get something fire! Yo, that man just gave him the movement of the gods and stabbed him in the ass. And now here we are spitting red. Sick. Bro, I don't know who, what was his name? Crew Dog? I don't remember what it was, but that dude, I don't know if it was luck or if that's what he does. You know how they got those people that just do shit like that? Oh, that would have been fun to watch. Shit. God damn it, Red, you son of a bitch. But here we are, Spice and Red, getting aggressive. I camping on a rooftop so they can watch Lodi. So aggressive. Oh, I thought they were actually gonna get their loading. No. Man said, fuck that shit, I don't need my loading. I don't quite know what the fuck's happening, to be honest. I, I've never watched two bots have a fight like that before. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just disrespectful in Resurgence. Everyone's getting executed, bro. That knife was savage. I gotta say that. That was dope. You don't see that from randoms often. 
All right, moving on to Miro Polo. Why why is nuts off? We've got 18 grand. I don't know what happened to his loadie, I'll be honest. That bitch just disappeared or gone or something. Nine hundred loadouts here. None of them are ours. He had to buy one. That's fucked up. All right, rock the Camaro. Now you know Camaro and a lot of these guns got a buff. I'm not sure at this moment of recording how good they are. This is literally an hour after the update release on Wednesday. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. By the time y'all watch this video, that y'all will know how good these guns are. Although, although the the I will say the awkward thing is we're using two of the same ammunition type. Not a not a big deal on resurgence, but I'd still rather have an SMG. And an AR just in case you get into a pickle, you know? Good job being patient, waiting for the audio to decide what the hell's going on. We don't know where the other person went. Sound like he got shot at, but we don't know if he's dead. And playing away from the door so he can pop his reload before he makes a move. M Miro Polo is definitely a decent player. Better than Red. I still wish we could know what the hell happens here, boy, with the knife. Oh. I feel like people play this mode because of how fast paced it is and how much excitement it can be because it's just fight after fight. But most y'all don't play like that. Very few people play this map like I believe it's really meant to be played like it's a TDM, you know, just get out there and fight, man. That would be a lot more fun. Ooh, okay. All right, a little, little curious about that aim there, I'll be honest. A little curious. That was, uh, that was, that, I was not expecting that from your boy, I'll be honest, dude. That was not, I expected that from Red, not Miro Polo, who's over here working the lobby, kind of. I, I say that very loosely, clearly. It's only got seven. UAV up. We hear footsteps above us as well. This building isn't as active as a lot of people think. Even though Lodi's come here, people hate fighting here for the most part. So it's, I say that to say, like, I think you're better off rotating out and chasing down the UAV pings than sitting in this building for one or two kills here and there, here and there. Like, he's he's got a good spot. It's not going to be a great position to win the game, so you're going to have to leave eventually. And to be fair... Again, I just think there's way too many places in here to hide and camp and sit. Too many doors and angles for people to hold compared to any other building in this map. I just wouldn't want to be here in the first place. The fuck? Bitches in this mode dying so fast they can't even breathe after they get a kill. This is the third kill we, spe we spectated this match alone where they get a kill and they die instantly. My clockwork. That's just wild. Holy shit, melted. But look, great throwing knife play. The guy was literally just sitting there waiting. He's probably been sitting there all fucking game. Just get throwing knife in the fucking face. That was beautiful. That was absolutely beautiful. Not really too many demons though. Seven's the, the highest kills we've seen yet. We spectated two decent players and these guys are using the same gun. I think it's kind of a waste of UAV, to be honest. You got two guys on the right-hand side on ground level. We're going to back up top on the rooftop. Teach their own. Fight what you want to fight. But again, I kind of want to maximize the use of every UAV, regardless of how many we have or buy. So this lobby so far seems like it's got okay players. I really... We've seen a few body things, but nothing like super uber body. Oh, he's got the three-on burst. He doesn't know it's a three-on burst. Oh, shit. So instead of rock... Yeah, dude, he's still, he's, he's switching modes. He don't, he don't get it. She's, everyone, is everyone using the same fucking gun? The update has literally been out for one hour and everyone's rocking the Camaro, bro. Wow. Fucking wow. Got in a fight, instantly got clapped in the side, bro. Telling you, this is why TTK needs to be raised. Shit like this, you, you don't, you don't have a second to breathe before you're, you're just 1A. 
That dude was kind of a demon jumping in like that. He might have been good. He got stuck on us. I think he was expecting to jump over us and around because he saw him hit the th the 180, but then he had to turn back around, and at that point, it was too it was too late. I'm not gonna hate, bro. I feel this. You know how many times I'm trying to fucking get something and loot stacked on top of each other, and I can't pick it up. It's insane. Again, okay, that's kind of questionable too. He had him one tap, and instead of chasing to get one more hit, he backed off. I think the throwing knife intimidated him, and honestly, rightfully so, but still, here he was 22. I don't, ooh. I was just about to say, I don't think we're going to see anything aggressive from Nunu, but maybe. Dolphin dive jump. You can make it from one corner to the other. Well, you didn't have to dolphin dive jump. Shit. Bomb drone. He was dead anyway, bro. That, that drone. That, that was Pie Man. Well, there we go. Why can't we expect to him the whole time? Yo, I would love for a two pump shotgun to be the thing again. If Pie Man gets two tap kills, I'm meaning this from now on. Especially, dude, I'll play research. I'll play the fuck out of research if this is two tap. Bring me back to my Mog days and Blackout. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, ladies and gentlemen, no, he's not walling. I love when I have a chance to defend someone who's been accused of cheating. Definitely not walling. Your boy just instantly almost paid the price. He's just nasty. I fucking hate people being better than me, but Pie Man is just fucking sick. Jesus Christ. Someone's chasing him too though. I don't know if he hears or not. Now when I say two pop, I'm in mean, you gotta be a little closer range than that. There you go. Still damn. Damn, bro. Someone give me Pie Man's build stat. 21 kills. I don't really see him losing. It sounded like another enemy was chasing us, but I, I, I guess he was just above us. God. You know what's so fun about shotguns? It's it's like the close range of the sniper. You can't just spray and pray this gun. You have to be accurate. You have to be accurate for it's 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 a very rewarding way to, to get a kill. You know, sniping a war zone is not the biggest thing ever. In fact, it's probably the worst thing you could do if you want to get a lot of kills. You're basically a damage machine. But the reason I snipe is because again, the kills mean more to me than just spraying and praying with a Camara. God, dude, I'm gonna steal his builds, bro. Speed reloader on that bitch. Dude, dude, fucking Jesus Christ. Pie man, stop it. What are you doing? My man fucking rock. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get a sniper build too. I'm gonna basically steal his loadout. Oh, that's nice. Now he's got the low ground, but it's not a huge deal because when the circle closes in, they're going to have to jump off and you can catch them in their parachute. Now, I'll always tell you guys to play the high ground as far as strategy is concerned. And it's definitely going to be the preferred spot nonetheless, but him being on the low ground is not a total loss. He can still play the situation. The issue that he's now running into is there's another enemy doing that exact same play, and we don't know where the third guy's at. He could be up top. He could be in the room next to us. That's why he's playing very cautious. not just full sending him. We have no idea where Mr. Three is at. And with all the places you can hide, it can fuck you up. Okay, he's up top. He had to check a second time. I didn't see the tracers either, and that's what he was looking for. The moment he got shot at, he didn't really notice the tracers. Oh my God, you're a brave mother... Again, definitely not walling. A savage, he can just pretend. Shut up. I love you, but shut up. Oh my gosh. Seeing a silhouette in the smoke grenade. Good movement, dude. Good get away on the enemy. I just don't think it's going to be good enough. Oh! Yo, GG's. Who was it that killed him? That dude was not bad. It was a it was a great movement, great breakaway. 
Good turn as well. And it shocks rocking 18. Yeah, he's a good player too, bro. Crazy. Another dude got dies the gas. That's wild to me. I hear footsteps. What? Guys. Guys, I hope you're still enjoying the two-part series. Again, I'm gonna be changing up a lot of the content as we go on and hopefully improve to make it more entertaining and just change it up for you guys. But thank y'all for all the love. Thank you for all the support on both of the donations, the likes, the follows. Make sure you guys are following me on Kick, new stream platform, and it's been going crazy, man. We all have a good one. Until next time, good luck in Warzone. You're gonna need it.